basically he, he had uh, 20 good years and uh, he is in my mind the best defenseman ever. Yeah, I think I had a good tournament. Uh, we also have had a good team. Uh, we just, um, came short in the end and lost the finals, but uh, I think we had a good tournament there. Did you learn much about Edmonton, the city, or anything during that time? What, 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 what experience stands out for you? Yeah, I saw some of the city, and it, it, it looks really good. The arena is awesome, and um, yeah, it's just great. So the Oilers have a lot of really exciting young players coming up in the system and on the roster now. Is there anything in particular about this team that makes you excited to go there? Yeah, it's the Edmonton Oilers. It has a great history and uh, I want to be a part of that one day. What was today like for you? What did you do? What, uh, what was kind of the, the day before you ultimately got there? Yeah, it's just uh, been waiting for this moment. Uh, you've been, been waiting for the draft the whole day. It's uh, uh, taking it easy with my brother and uh, just having fun. Families here, obviously your parents uh, have lunch or what did, what did you eat today? Uh, we ate breakfast, of course, uh, at the meeting, and then we went for lunch at Just Moxie's, I think. Yeah, okay. and, uh, then, looking, uh, forward yeah. pass, sorry, looking forward to passing the puck to Connor McDavid. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, one day, I hope. <laughs> Have you watched him play much? Uh, do you admire him? What do you think of Connor McDavid? Yeah, I think right now he's the best player in the world, and uh, obviously his uh, speed is uh, a great aspect of his game. Uh, and for sure, one day I hope I will play with him. You've played against Evan Bouchard and uh, probably Sam Rukov, maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, two young defensemen in the Oilers system. You will all now come up together. Uh, is that exciting? Yeah, it's always exciting. Uh, it's a great prospect. Uh, I'm just uh, looking forward to it and uh, I'm just going to take it all in and uh, I'm just so happy to be Oilers right now. There's a lot of anticipation leading up to this night. Is there any sense of relief in finally knowing what happened? Yeah, it's obviously a re release to get drafted. This is what, I, you, what you have been uh, dreaming about. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm just honored to get picked. Um, so, yeah, it's so uh, it's it's a release for sure. Do you have a sense of if you'll play in North America next year? Uh, actually, I don't know right now. Uh, me and the team is going to talk and uh, see what uh, they're saying and all that. Are you old enough to have watched much of Nick Lister play when, when he was a player? And do you take anything from his game that you try to emulate? Yeah, he's obviously a great player. I haven't watched so many games, uh, but um, I've seen a lot of clips. And yeah, he was a good, really good player, uh, a really good guy as well. After us, Philip, you, you said you you try to model your game after Tampa Bay defenseman Victor Hedman. Uh, where would you say, or for for fans of the Edmonton Oilers that aren't familiar with your game, uh, how do you how do you play the game on? Uh, I would say I'm a two-way defender uh, with a good skating ability uh, that likes to move the, the puck and skate it as well. Um, I, I'm, I'm a big size defenseman as well, uh, but I still want to improve my uh, first pass and be stronger in the corner center for a net. You have a very good stride. Your strength is skating. How come? Where does that come from? Yeah, the training probably with six different skating coaches throughout the years. Uh, I've been to Canada for four weeks every summer just to train my skating. Uh, so I think it's the hardware I put into my skating, and that's probably why uh, I skate so well now. What do your parents do? Uh, they're engineers. Engineers? What uh, they skiss roads. They skiss uh, roads. Uh, I don't know how to say it. Civil engineers. Civil engineers. Yeah. What did your what did your what did you say to your parents? What did they say to you when, when your name was called? Yeah, your yeah, they said I'm so proud of you and uh, like I'm waiting for this day for a long time now. So it's just a release that it finally came. What was it like to shake Wayne Gretzky's hand? Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, like he, he he's he's the goat. So that that, that <laughs> was uh, obviously an experience. Do you, have you ever? I mean, he just he finished playing before you were even born. Did you have you? seen a lot of highlights of, of him or how much you know about Wayne Gretzky in his, in his career? Yeah, like I, I know whatever everyone else knows and um, he, he was obviously a really good player and uh, I watched his highlights but uh, not so much, no. Yeah, there are a lot of really good Swedish fans here. Is that growing up, is that a position that most hockey players gravitate to? And, and so 
you mean in Sweden? Yeah. Uh, yeah, obviously we have a good uh, defenseman in the, the national hockey and you for sure look up to them and try to be like them and I think that's uh, b the biggest reason why uh, Sweden has developed so many uh, good Ds uh, throughout the years. How many years have you played defense for? Uh, I switched to defense when I was 12. Uh, yeah. How come? Uh, yeah, it's actually a fun story because I was at a camp in Sweden and it had had too many forwards. So I went back to D to play more in those games and after that I've never changed back. Never changed? No. Nope. <laughs> do you have experience playing both sides of the ice or do you normally just play on the left side? No, I'm playing on both sides depending on what uh, my teammate want to play and what he's comfortable of and what we think it's best for that game. Yeah, 50-50. I, 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 I can play both. What's your number? What number do you like? I, I don't have a preference. You don't have a preference? No, I thought you were number four at the Kalinka. Yeah, I wore the number four, but we was given that. But obviously I like number five. Of, uh, five is your number? Of, of Lidstrom, yeah.